Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing uh, my monthly favorites, August favorites and uh, regrets. So I'll just get right into it. Oh, okay, so my first favorite has been a foundation and it's the True Match Lumi Healthy, Healthy Luminous Makeup. And this is what it looks like right there. Very nice packaging. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the fact that it has a pump. And one thing about the bump, the pump, bump, pump, the pump that I really like is that you really have the control of how much product you want to use. So I really like that. This foundation <clears throat> says that you have to apply it every two hours, which I don't think it's necessary. It's I've heard that it's targeted more towards like if you want to have that luminous and because it gives you like a dewy finish so it's not that good for oily skin well let me tell you I have combination oily skin and th like during the summer I'm more oily than combination and this really holds up really nicely um, it does have amazing coverage I'm wearing it right now for today and I do have a few flaws like around my forehead and and what I've been um, <clears throat> applying it with <coughs> excuse me has been the Sigma F88 brush <coughs> which is a new brush that just came out and this is how it looks like it's very dense and it's angled that way it will be easier to apply around your nose your chin your eyes and your hairline it's very 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 useful uh, I really have been enjoying this combination I think this might also be one of the reasons why this one applies so nicely on me this brush if you guys like the F80 or if you guys were thinking of buying it I really recommend you guys to get this one since you're pretty much getting the F80 effect already plus that angle <clears throat> staying with that same face uh, routine I've been loving the all nighter Urban Decay uh, setting spray <coughs> I had heard a bunch of like good stuff or good things about this uh, setting spray for a long time now but I didn't really want to splurge and buy it because I was like what if I was I thought in me I thought it was just like a regular setting spray you know that maybe it was very similar to the elf setting spray which is just three dollars this one the extra large is thirty four dollars and the regular size is twenty nine dollars I got the extra large I went ahead and bought it um, I had the money and I said you know what I'll just give it a try if I didn't if I don't like it I'll just return it I love it I really really love it and I think that's another reason why I've been enjoying my foundations as well and it really holds up my foundation I think I don't know if you really do have to apply it every two hours without this but once I combine them together you don't have to reapply it it doesn't fade this one can last me around five to six hours before it starts like to fade away and I think this one has been doing the job so I think that <clears throat> if you don't want to spend your money on like a higher end foundation you really like the one you have right now but <coughs> excuse me the one that you have right now starts fading or it doesn't last up like for longer I really suggest to try this one out next thing my next favorite is the bronzer and this is from uh, Revlon Photo Ready this ring of this bronzer I've been wearing it every day non-stop I bought it I think I bought it like a, two days before August and I've been using it every single time I do my makeup this is how it excuse me this is how it looks like there you go kind of like right there it has four different shades uh, kind of like light medium medium deep and deep I guess I love it what I do <coughs> oh and it's matte by the way it doesn't have any shimmer any sheen anything it's matte what I do I swirled my brush around it and I'll start off on my cheekbones like 
this and then I work my way uh, bottom I get a little bit more and I do it again my temples and then I get like a smaller brush and I will get the darkest shade which is this one right here to contour so I'll dip it in here do the fishy face and I'll apply it there so you're pretty much getting like all like three and one in a way with this bronzer I absolutely love it I don't like the packaging I can tell you right now because I think it's too big like it's like the size of my hand and I don't like that fact because I don't really use the brush that it comes with it I don't need it so I would have wished it was just gonna it was just like this so I don't even use the brush I mean the mirror either I wish it would have been like this small because I want to carry it in my purse but I think uh, product wise I really love it I think you guys should try it out so moving on my next favorite is actually a highlighter and this is from elf and this is called got a good only buy this at islipface.com or elf you know which is also known as elf cosmetics and this is how it looks like it looks kind of beigey or white in camera uh, <clears throat> but when you swatch it it has kind of like gold reflexes I don't think you guys are gonna be able to tell it's like here Maybe if I build it up more, you guys can tell. Right there. I've been wearing this one actually for about three weeks in this month as well. And I've been really liking it. $3. And ELF always has some great deals on their website. So definitely check this one out. It's actually a palette. And it's the Too Faced Summer Eye Edition or Summer Eye Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. I and I actually got this palette on sale for $20. I bought it at Sephora, but the Sephora inside of JCPenney. I'm not really sure if they have it like at a regular Sephora or maybe online. I don't know, but definitely check out if you have any so any JCPenney's near you, check out the Sephora's inside. And uh, yeah, so I got this for $20. That's why I decided to pick it up considering that they're like $36 and I've really been loving it. My final favorite for this month has been the Bonnie Bell Lip Light. And this is what it looks like and my color is Strawberry Parfait. It just says strawberry here though. But it's Strawberry Parfait. And this is a, a great lip gloss. In fact, I was wearing it today, earlier, but let me put it right now. It's very creamy and it tastes really nice like I had heard a lot of great stuff about this this is one of the reasons why I picked it up because there was a bunch of hype going around because they were mentioning mentioning that it's like the dupe for Nars Turkish Delight uh, lip gloss which I don't own it so I can't tell you if it is or not but one thing I can tell you is that this was only like three dollars and you can only buy it at Walmart by the way only at Walmart and it has a great night it has a really nice like sheen to your lips you can wear it alone or over some lipstick and it has like a really nice finish and not only that it really tastes good so yeah definitely recommend this and they hey guys so my last thing and this is my regret this is another thing from elf um the one i'm talking about is elf three in one mascara you can only get this one online. I haven't, I've checked here in, in Target and I haven't found any. So I started using it more, like, you know, the first week of August, the last two weeks of July and the first week of August. I gave it like about three weeks just to try it out and give it some, some you know, some chance because I was really, I really wanted to like this mascara. But I'm sorry, Elf. You just need, like, I don't, I love your products. I love your blushes. I love a bunch of products that you sell. But I just don't like this mascara. All the mascaras that I've tried from e.l.f. have been really bad. And at first, I thought it was maybe that I was getting, like, a bad one. But after trying so many of them, or trying out pretty much all of them, I think it's just the whole mascara line. So, anyways, this is what the 
the wand looks like and this is why I mean I wanted to like it because it has like this thin line here for like your bottom lashes or just to get there just to like give you more volume and then you have like the circle bump here at the end which I thought was gonna be great for like your the ones that are here really close to your eyelids or to your tear duct I thought there was gonna be really great for that but it's not it really clumps up not worth the money I think there are some better great mascaras out there this is the end of my video so let me got, let me know what your favorites are and or your regrets are if you guys thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye